Hey, what's good YouTube? My name is Craig and in this video, I am sharing some of the most important questions that all entrepreneurs should ask themselves before pursuing any business venture. This video will help you to qualify your entrepreneurial abilities, eliminate some bad business ideas, and also help you to better solve the right problems for the right customers. And by watching this video, you will be better positioned to find product market fit and ultimately set your business up for success. Am I the right person in the right position to solve the right problem for the right people? One more time. Am I the right person in the right position to solve the right problem for the right people? Now, those simple four questions are crucial for helping you to achieve product market fit. And without product market fit, you can be guaranteed to fail within your entrepreneurial journey. So to kind of backtrack a little bit, let me just give you the brief and succinct definition of what product market fit is. And product market fit can simply be defined as the degree to which a business satisfies a strong market demand. And so what does that mean? So basically when you've achieved product market fit, not only are you making your customers happy, but you're actually going to be positioned to generate revenue over long periods of time. And according to Mark Andreessen, um, not having product market fit is basically the number one reason why most businesses fail. And that's why I go back to that question or those four questions. Am I the right person in the right position to solve the right problem for the right people? And yourself as an entrepreneur, your position in the market, the problem that you're solving, and the customers that you're seeking to solve that problem for are the four elements that pretty much make up product market fit. So let me break those down a little bit more. Answering the first question, am I the right person? Helps you to better understand your qualifications as an entrepreneur to solve whatever problem that your customers are having. You see, when investors are looking at entrepreneurs, they want to have credibility and assurance that you are capable of leading this business to success. Essentially, investors are looking for mastery in the area of business that you seek to work within. And so if you're not qualified to actually solve the problems for your customers, then you're automatically going to be out of position to achieve product market fit and solve the right uh, problems for your customers. So my advice here is that when you're asking this question, am I the right person? Essentially, you want to do a deep dive and analysis on yourself to basically figure out, am I qualified or do I have the right skills to move forward and solve a specific problem for my customers? Or basically, do I have any experience in this business uh, that I seek to uh, basically initiate? Moving forward to question number two, am I in the right position? So to better break this down, um, I read a really intriguing article about how business is like surfing. And so the general gist of this article is that the best surfers are the people who, number one, paddle the hardest, but two, is that they put themselves in the right position to catch the right wave. And so essentially when I'm talking about, are you in the right position? Like, is this the right timing? Is this the right um, opportune moment to go out in the world and initiate this business? So by figuring out essentially that you're qualified to solve this problem, you also want to understand like how can you best enter the market at the right timing in the right way to begin to solve problems for your customers. So if you just go back to that analogy about surfing, 
you want to paddle out into the market and study the waves, which is the market demand, and position yourself based upon your understanding of the market forces to initiate your business to capture that wave or that market demand. Moving on to question three, am I solving the right problem? This essentially talks about one's understanding of the behaviors that are causing your customers to work in a certain way. Um, see, when it comes to customer discovery, understanding the why behind your customers' purchasing decisions is probably one of the number one things that most entrepreneurs overlook. You see, in life, people are motivated by one of two things, either pain or, or pleasure, like to avoid pain and to gain more pleasure. And in business, those pains and those uh, pleasure moments are basically the stimuli that are going to cause your customers to purchase a product or service. And so typically you want to look at the pains that uh, your customers are facing. And so these pains are essentially the problems. But with the correct entrepreneurial mindset, you're going to understand that these problems are actually opportunities. And so essentially, once you have a deep understanding behind your customer's pains or problems, you can concoct the right solution or the right business to solve that problem for your customers. And last but not least, the fourth question for the right people, this essentially is talking about the ideal customer persona that you're going to be targeting. And so in business, like there's going to be multiple types of customers that may need or want the product or service that you're offering. But at the end of the day, there will be a target persona or a target customer that may potentially drive the bulk of your business. And so with that in mind, you want to really do a deep dive within your customer discovery to target this ideal customer persona, because this is like basically essentially the Pareto principle broken down. Uh, the Pareto principle is essentially the 80-20 rule that 80% of anything comes from 20% of something. And so by identifying your target customers and understanding them at a deep, minute level, understanding all their pains, all their problems, you could focus on becoming the number one problem solver for this individual, which essentially will give you a monopoly uh, with this customer, which will help you to uh, achieve more sales and ultimately accomplish your goal of finding product market fit. In sum, when you're the right person in the right position to solve the right problems for the right people, you will drastically increase your chances of finding product market fit and building a business that will not only be profitable, but you'll also build a business that will endure over the long term. So before you decide to pursue any business venture, make sure you ask yourself, am I the right person in the right position to solve the right problem for the right people? So my question for you today is, why do you think most entrepreneurs fail to find product market fit? Let me know your thoughts and drop your comments below. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to become the entrepreneur of your life, you can start this process today by subscribing to my channel. Also be sure to click the notification bell to be alerted for whenever new content drops. Until next time.